I know I've been away um, mainly because I've had a lot of family events, friends, different people visiting, so that's kept me extremely busy. Um, and I've just been enjoying my summer. Uh, although, technically, because I live in the Sunshine State, so summer never ends. For those of you, um, maybe I should do like a reintroduction because I haven't done one. I don't think I've ever done one. <laughs> Uh, but for those of you who don't know me, have never watched a video, and you're just stumbling upon this one for the very first time, my name is Dominique. I live with my husband in the Sunshine State. We moved here um, around just before the whole pandemonium, you know, the time that we don't want to speak of. Everybody remembers. Um, so I moved here literally probably about two months before all that happened and the whole world got shut down. Um, but yeah, I've been here ever since and usually the kind of things that I film, a lot of it is actually me cooking different things or making different snacks and meals. Um, that really wasn't the purpose. I wanted to film more content about home decor, but somehow it turned into me doing like a lot of food stuff. Um, and then recently showing a little bit about my workout journey. Um, what else? What else? I don't know it's just it's random things guys random stuff um but like share follow um and i hope you guys enjoy my content also um sometimes you guys might hear me talk about god or like my faith every once in a while um but that is another journey that i've been on is going to church um because i stopped going a very very long time ago um, but I would still pray at night, and I guess you can probably classify me back then as like being lukewarm. Um, and I didn't really even know that that was a term until I heard it, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's me. Um, but ever since I moved here, I really, really wanted to find a church, but it was important, um, very, very important for me to find one where I feel comfortable, especially being black. Um, so that was like first and foremost. So what I did, I, I went through something traumatic um, that I had to deal with losing someone. Um, and that's what kind of propelled me into finding a church even quicker. Um, and the way that I did that, and that's what actually saved me in a lot of ways and was able to um, break a lot of stuff that was going on, such as the sadness, also anxiety that I had that I was dealing with, and I've had anxiety for a very long time. Um, never was on medication for it or anything like that. I My method of dealing with it was really just self-isolation. Um, so that meant like not going out with friends, declining things, and kind of just staying home, and that's how I would deal with my anxiety. But anyways, um, <laughs> Sorry, I like completely trailed off. So once I got here and went through that traumatic experience um, with losing someone really close, I uh, the easiest way for me to find a church was looking online for churches that had people that looked like me. Um, and I found, I think I found about three that seemed to like fit my kind of vibe and what I was looking for. And I would watch their sermons online, um, see how I felt. And then it came down to two. And I was so confused at like which one to like dedicate my time. I didn't want to have to go back 
and forth. I just wanted to pick one and focus on one. And I um, kind of just said a prayer to God and asked him to reveal to me the church that I'm supposed to be at. And he did that in a way where I watched the one that I'm not going to now. And they spoke about something which made them seem more of a church that was more showy. And I'm not into that. I don't go to church for how things look. Um, that's not what it's about for me at all, at any capacity. And that's when I realized that that's not the church for me because that's not what I'm about. That's not what I've ever been about. Um, I don't care about how things look. I don't care if the pastor has diamond earrings. Like none of that is important to me. Um, yeah, so that's just not what church is for me at all. Um, and the church that I have now, I absolutely adore, love. Um, the pastor and his wife, amazing 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 every single time and i remember when i would watch the sermons from home tears like tears 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 and i was like wow even as like a little girl or a young adult i've been to church before but i've never been so moved by the message um so that was definitely another clear indication that that was the church for me. So I found my home church, very happy. I got baptized, um, <laughs> I got baptized in May. Uh, so yeah, so I'm on my journey, learning, growing every single day. I'm not perfect, I never have been, I don't think I ever will be, but um, I'm just striving to be a better person in this world, somebody that God can be proud of, and that's what's important to me. And he does test me. When you talk to God and you tell him or you tell him that I'm this and I'm that, he'll, he'll, he'll literally be like, oh, okay, I'm going to test you. I said that I was patient. You know what he did? He tested me for seven days straight. Tested my patience. <laughs> I passed, but it was hard. <laughs> um, I told him that I was very giving, which I am. But you know, things are expensive out here. It is hard. And um, just a few weeks ago, he tested that. The first time I failed, and he gave me the same exact test the next day, and I passed for sure. Um, but that just goes to show you when you tell God that you are something, he's gonna test you. He's gonna test you every time, and sometimes multiple times. <laughs> okay, so that's so. I hope that gives you guys a little bit more insight into who I am, what I'm about, what I'm gonna be talking to you guys about on my channel, showing you guys. I am gonna try and squeeze some home decor type stuff in there because I truly, truly love home decor as well. I know a lot of people love home decor. Um, that's actually one of my favorite things to do. I also love to get my hands dirty, so you'll see me with a drill. Um, sometimes O will try to step in, but I love to do things when he's not here because. I want to do it myself and if he sees me with a drill he'll be like girl what are you doing you have me and i'm like no i want to do it <laughs> um so yeah so you'll catch a little bit of that content i'll try and show as much as i can other than that i do have to get ready for church i hope you guys have an amazing and blessed sunday take care good afternoon y'all so i just got back from church um, and I kind of just wanted to share what uh, my pastor kind of went over in the sermon this morning. And it was about dealing with anxiety and worry. And just some of the tools that he gave us as to what you can use, how to overcome that. So one is to basically ask God to search your heart. And that's just so he can see what's really on the inside, how you're truly feeling, because a lot of the times that could be at the root of where your anxiety and your worry is coming from, because it's going to be something that's constantly on your mind. You're thinking about it. It's what you kind of hold inside. Um, so asking God to search your heart. Number two is not worrying about anything. And what I mean by that is anytime you have those feelings of worry, of anxiety, you pray. So we're not going to worry. We're not going to give in to those feelings of anxiety. We're going to pray. As soon as that feeling comes, you pray. Um, the third one is praising him through everything. 
Um, and within that, the beginning of that portion of praising him is telling him what you need. So whether it has something to do with finances, your job, your relationship, anything, telling him what you need, make it plain and make it clear. Um, and then right after you do that, you're going to praise him. You're going to thank him for all that he's done and all that he continues to do, no matter how big, how small. Um, some of the most biggest things that might seem small to people is just being able to wake up in the morning and still be alive, still be able to see, smell, hear. I mean, I've, I'll never forget, I work with this one girl who, um, normal, very, very healthy, went to sleep, woke up, and she was no longer able to speak anymore. When she would, I can't, I shouldn't say speak, but when she would talk, it was like, raspy in a whisper and it burned like her throat was burning and it got to the point where she really couldn't talk anymore she went to countless doctors couldn't figure it out um so just something as simple as that I really don't think people understand what a blessing it is to be able to wake up in the morning and just be able to talk um to be able to breathe and even if you know how the human body works and thinking of all the things that have to happen and keep pumping and moving overnight for you to wake up, it just doesn't happen by chance. God is in control of everything. So it's just, it's so important to, to just thank him for that. Thank him for everything. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's a little bit about what I learned in um, church today. So sorry, not sorry for going too deep. Um, but you know, I'm always going to give God praise and the thanks because he is the creator so he will always get the glory uh, but yeah so aside from that I am actually waiting for a furniture delivery that I'm so excited for um, it was kind of was kind of an impulse buy it was like one of those not well I can't say impulse because it was something that I've been eyeing for a while but it was just really pricey and I was kind of waiting for it to go on sale and it did, and I wasn't expecting it to go on sale, so I was like, I gotta get this now. So I swiped them up, and they're coming today. So I am excited. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to unbox those with you guys. Uh, what else do I have going on today? I don't think I have anything much. I mean, it is Sunday, and according to the Bible, you're really not supposed to be doing any work. So usually Sundays, I just kind of like to chill. So I really won't be doing anything other than unboxing um, the furniture pieces that are coming in today that's if they come because sometimes they'll say that they're delivering it and then they push back the delivery date so we shall see um but yeah other than that I'm just gonna rest I do have a concert coming up that I'm gonna be going to Tampa for um for my friend's birthday so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear and I need to be comfortable part of me wants to wear sweatpants I don't know if that's a thing people wear sweatpants to concerts I don't know, but I just, I like to be comfortable all the time. I hate going out anywhere and being uncomfortable and I don't want to be in heels. I'm not doing that to myself. Do people actually wear heels to concerts? I really don't think they do. Yeah, but it wouldn't be me. Maybe when I was younger, I'd probably be the kind to wear like maybe a chunky heel, but I'm almost 40. It's just, no, it's not happening. It's flats or sneakers. Like I need to be able to move, to run, to dance, to do whatever. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. So in other news, I actually wanted to straighten my hair and I have the Rev Air and normally I'll probably use it maybe once every, maybe once every three months, I'll like straighten my hair with the Rev Air. So it's not something that I use often. So I go to pick it up and this thing is like popped off the wires are exposed I don't even know how this happened like it was literally just on the floor it didn't fall anywhere because I keep it on the floor I keep it really low and I just picked it up and this was just like so and it's not even like something you can you can't snap it back on like there's no way the only way it would stay is for me to glue it on and I'm not doing that because obviously this part gets heated up and I just don't think that would be safe so probably gonna have to buy a brand new one or I don't know if they just sell just like this part. And so just with this part coming off, it really, I just don't think it's safe. So since I still have the hose and everything else is fine, I would hope that I can just replace this and don't have to buy an entirely brand new 
unit like all together because I think this thing's like $4.99 so call it 500 bucks and then plus taxes shipping and handling and all that stuff this ain't cheap y'all this is not cheap and oh actually bought this one for me so maybe I can get him to buy a brand new one or maybe just this replacement piece we'll see because it is pricey and I do love it. Like it didn't, it straightened my hair just enough without damaging it. So highly recommend. All right, guys. So I just got a new delivery. These are some chairs that I actually ordered for either um, the island or the kitchen table. I'm not sure where I'm going to like them better. Probably the kitchen table. Um, the ones that I have now, they're kind of dated. They're tufted. Um, I don't like. So... Yeah, so we're gonna unbox these and... It's not that I don't want you here It's something about the way you stare This is from Doughboys. Mmm. Pepperoni is good. Okay, so now I'm trying the Philly cheesesteak with pineapple on top. Although, it looks like they took like a singles cheese slice and put it on here so i don't know about that but well, it's actually good i just wish it was a better kind of cheese but mm. 